We all live on this very small, uh, very fragile um, pile of sand called Cape Cod. Well, I think uh, Cape Codders have come a long way in um, deepening uh, their appreciation of coastal processes, coastal change, lack of permanence of the, of the shore, the necessity to kind of roll with, uh, with the punches, uh, if you like. Coastal geology, um, quite simply, um, is um, uh, the geological study uh, of coastal environments and coastal processes. Just doing coastal research in general uh, for a coastal geologist like myself, it literally is one of the most dynamic environments on the planet. What we do here is we have a lot of state-of-the-art instrumentation that we use, these acoustic uh, instruments that are vessel-based. We put them on the boat uh, and we can get really detailed maps of coastal areas. We're very interested in coastal environments, very shallow water from about 30 feet all the way to the shoreline. So we can rapidly map these shallow water areas and there's beautiful imagery that we have of eelgrass beds, submerged aquatic vegetation, shellfish habitat. You go back and you map it again in a few years or five years or 10 years down the road, you can see how that's changing over time. Well, the reason they need, we all need to, to, to pay attention is because Cape Cod uh, is changing around us. Our shore is not permanent. We need to have an idea of what those changes are and what they will be in order to plan for our lives in the future and our children's lives and our, and our, and our society's life. I think the most unique thing about the center is that we are very focused on local processes, understanding uh, our backyard because the National Seashore has this really undisturbed, beautiful, natural sandy beach. We can go and study that sandy beach without all the other variables of understanding all the structures and, and dredging and all the different kinds of things that change a, a coastal region. With that data, we can really begin to understand and answer the questions that policymakers and decision makers want to know. Well, I think we all, we, we need to all do this together. If we're talking about uh, sharing information, uh, it involves all of us. Uh, there's the general public, yes. Uh, there are the scientists, yes. Uh, but between the two, there got to be this active army of, uh, of folks who are uh, carrying information back and forth and questions back and forth. Uh, there's an in-between group uh, which could help us, uh, and that would be the members of the center who can uh, uh, take from uh, the, the professionals working here at the center, uh, learn from them, work with them, and uh, uh, carry that information out into the, uh, the bigger social world, into the, into the communities.